Today I am going to go over how you upload farm data to farm server. I will show a successful upload and what happens when one fails. Farm server can accept data from almost any in-cab monitor out there. The first thing you need to do when you put your USB or memory device from the monitor into your computer is zip the files that contain the data. You can do this by right clicking on the file and then clicking compress followed by the folder's name. Once you've compressed it, you'll see a zipper on the file or folder you've zipped. On a Windows PC, you'll do the same thing, but you will click Send to Compress Zip Folder. This will compress your file so that they don't take so long to upload. The other thing that I would highly recommend is editing the name on that zip folder to what the data is. For example, naming it More Yield 15 with the last name followed by what operation and year it is so that later down the road you know exactly which files are what if you need them. Once this is done you are ready to upload your data into farm server. To do this you can either click farm data on the left of the dashboard or click farm data at the top of the page. You will then click the upload button in the middle of the screen this will take you to the My Data Storage tab in Farm Server, where it shows you all the data you have uploaded and stored in Farm Server. To upload, click Get Started in the box on the left. Then click the Select Data File button. Now you'll need to maneuver to where your USB is or where you have the data stored. Once you find that file that you zip, double click on it. You will then see Please Wait Upload in Progress until your file has finished being uploaded to Farm Server. If your file is very large and you want to go back to the rest of the site while you wait, you can click the link at the bottom that says Continue Using Farm Server. When it is done, it will say Success, your upload is now complete. Click Continue. Shortly after that, you will see the file you uploaded in the Uploaded Files list and it will say Processing in the Status column until it is finished processing all of the files. Once it is completely done, that column will then change to say available and the account owner will receive an email telling them that the files have been processed. When it still says processing, if you switch to the process data tab at the top, you will eventually start seeing lines come in that say processing in the status tab. Once the files are done processing, you will see the word new in the status box with a bubble around it and to the right a quick view link where you can view the data. I will now show you what happens if the file upload fails. If you follow the same process to upload the file will again show success your upload is now complete or you will need to hit continue. At first you will see in the status column the word processing but quickly after failed. It will also have an eye to the right with info on why it failed. It could have failed for many reasons such as the same file has already been uploaded or there are no files in there that are able to be processed or even possibly the file is too large and it happens to have timed out with poor internet. You can always re-upload the file again if you think it shouldn't have failed for whatever reason the first time. If you see this error again, feel free to call the support line at 317-565-4120 or email support at farmserver.com.